stay in your girl. No, it's not. It's not, and I need help. But first tonight, emotional reaction in the aftermath of this deadly shooting at a Clearwater convenience store. Just hours ago, the Pinellas County Sheriff announcing that he will not press charges against the man who shot and killed a Clearwater father. Good evening, everyone. I'm Paula Grone in for Jameson and I'm Wendy Ryan. Thanks for joining us, everyone. Let's get right out to our Sarah Hollenbeck live at the store on Sunset Point Road and Sarah. It's all because of one thing the shooter told deputies, right? Yes, Michael Dreika told them that he was in fear for his life and that's why he pulled the trigger. But tonight the victim's girlfriend wants justice. I need justice. It isn't that right at all. Brittany Jacobs is furious. She says the man who shot her boyfriend and the father of her three children got away with murder. How is this thing your girl law? It's not. It's not, and I need help. <laughs> Jacobs was the first person Michael Dreika confronted after she parked in a handicapped parking spot outside of this Clearwater convenience store. Surveillance video from the store shows McLaughlin leave to defend Jacobs. Moments later, he shoves Dreika hard to the ground. Dreika then pulls out a gun and shoots McLaughlin square in the chest. We are pausing this video the frame before McLaughlin is shot. McLaughlin's five-year-old son witnessed the shooting. Oh, I could have been killed. My kids could have been killed. He had to shoot to defend himself. You know, and those are the facts and that's the law. Today, the sheriff's office saying they won't file charges against Dreika under Florida's stand your ground law. No matter how you slice it or dice it, that was a violent push to the ground. We knocked on the door at Dreika's home today. A sign posted outside said no comment. And it's now up to the state attorneys to actually address this case and investigate it. As for McLaughlin's family, they have also hired a criminal attorney and they plan to bring their own suit forward on this case. Reporting live in Clearwater, I'm Sarah Hollenbeck, ABC Action News. All right, Sarah, thank you.